Odin Thiago Holm is a step closer to his Celtic dream move as his medical in London is underway today on the 21st of June 2023 and I don't think there's going to be any hiccups with this medical so he would become Celtic's first signing of the summer and therefore Big Brendan Big Brendan Rodgers' first sign and the reported target looks like he's one step closer to becoming a Celtic player today and that is according to Stan Andre DeWall. Now a Norwegian journalist was one of the first to break the news of Celtic's interest, the 20 year old midfielder and this morning DeWall tweeted an update that will excite the hoops. Uh, he did go on to tweet in Norwegian so this is the best translation we're going to get. Medical test for Odin Tegel home today is conducted in London for practical reasons. He will be sold from Falarega to Celtic if he passes the test. Uh, Celtic's interest in home was first reported by DeWall on the, first, uh, 20, the 12th of June. It was said that the club would have to offer at least two million to secure his services, and that's kind of um, end of that. It does go on to say about that the Celtic website was told that it would be apparently around 2.6 million. And he has been hailed as a wonder kid and linked to uh, Martin Odegaard by former Celtic striker Harold Brackback. So there's a lot of hype around this guy. 2.6 million for a potential wonder kid. I think it's a decent price for them to pay. It is a decent, if he's good, it's a decent price. If he's not good, then it's a waste of money. We'll have to wait and see. Well, he's I 20 year way. old. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't guarantee you're going to. Yeah, but I'd be shocked if Celtic signed Matt, this Malik kid. Tal Matt Malik Thomas, 20 years old, and apparently wasting 5 million was not even thinkable, so... Well, to me, I think Rangers should have did that, but anyway, right. No, I agree, my, but I mean, My opinion it's is... Only, it's only profitable if the player you're buying's actually got potential to be good. No, but, right, see with Tillman, I thought it was it was a win-win, because I felt like even if you signed him and he didn't work out, you would sell him for profit, and I feel the exact same way about this guy. If this guy's been likened to Odegaard, right... Say, he say they sign him for 2.6 million, doesn't work out after a year or two. You try to tell me when they sell him, it's not going to be for more than 2.6 million. If he's good, yes, obviously, I just said that. Even if he's mediocre, the, the, the fact he's at Celtic, it would go more at Celtic Can than he would. Can turn it? That's different. He, no, he is. He is dog meat. Yeah. So you, you, so you think this guy could end up like Barkas? What about Burnaby? I don't think you get much for him right now. Guy's dog meat. Burnaby's not that bad. Well, I don't think you get big money for I'm him. I'm not saying you get big money for him, but I don't think he's as bad as what you make him out to be. I never say he's horrible, I just don't think they'd get their money back right now, at, at this point in time. Four and a half million? I don't think they're getting that from. So what you're saying is, this guy needs to hit the ground running or else it's absolutely good night? I'm not saying that at all, I'm saying you'll only get more money for a player if he's actually decent. All right, if, if, it, if, it, if it was the case that you always yeah, but look, a, look at Leonardo. If it was as simple as always making a profit, you would sign every fucking 20 year old and sell them two years later. Yeah, but look at Leonardo Bacuna. Rangers signed him. Absolute pish, six months, did nothing, and, and sold them for a profit. Not yeah, much like not, I say, it not much of a profit. Things, but it's not guaranteed to happen. I don't know much about this guy, so I can't really comment. Oh, I'm saying. Well, right, well, I'll tell you what, he's had his most uh, prolific season in the, uh, the Norwegian. League, uh, Farmers League, that though, isn't it? It's not quite the Scottish Premiership. Right, of course. Right. How many how many teams do they get in the uh, Champions League? Right. Not that many, but he's from Falaringa. I mean, 2.6 million. I, I don't think Celtic would fork that sort of money for a guy that they didn't think was uh, all that. If I'm being real about, oh, that is a wee bit soul destroying there. But Celtic paying 2.6 million for this guy, the medical set to be complete. It's always funny that all these moves, the, me the medicals always get done in London. What happened to just fucking bring him up the road? I know, get him up here. Maybe they do it. In, maybe they do it in London in case he fails. They can, it's easy enough for them to go back. Maryland travel all the way up here and fail. But I'm just failing London. I know, but you'd think he would just get his flight to Glasgow, like Norway to Glasgow, rather than Norway to oh, London. That would be a smart thing to do. But I don't uh, know what the logic is there, but uh, you can't be doing that. Yeah, you know he, he is twenty. He, he recently just turned twenty, and uh, I mean for last season for Florenga. he had a like I said, he's literally spent his entire career at Florenga apart from a wee loan spell at Teller. And he's represented Norway in every level apart from the main level. So the only level that matters is he's not been at that level. Look, I think it's an interesting one because I think Brendan Rodgers came under a bit of scrutiny for previous signings. I think uh, people have been... That's probably what people are fearing the most about the Ange Postacoglu signing is the fact that his transfers didn't seem to be as good as uh, Ange Postacoglu. So it will be interesting to see if this guy does complete the move, if the medical does pass, whether or not he is good. Because sometimes I feel like you're judged by your first transfer. Absolutely. Your first proper transfer. Like, it felt like Kyogo was the first real transfer that Ange brought in and he got off the ground running. 
Exactly, and if Brendan flops with his transfers, maybe he'll be getting some death threats sent to him pretty soon. But anyway, guys, that's us done. Medical looks like it's complete in London. But until next time, peace.